All right, so the only real reason I'm making this deck profile is because a teammate wants to know the deck profile and what how I play it and everything. And um, because I've been showing him some boards and everything in our um team chat, and he was like, "How the hell you do these combos and how are you able to bring this out?" And then I told them, "You don't know about this the one card starters assault mode." And because they play other decks, so I was like, he was like, "Nah, let me know." I was like, "All right." I can send you a list or a deck profile, and he's like, "Do the deck profile; it'll be lit." So, I'm like, this is for you. Um, this is my updated Chaos Assault mode, um, Stardust Dragon Dragoon deck. Like, you could bring him out real easy. I'm gonna go through the deck real fast. It's not gonna be a long video. Show a few combos, the basic setup, so he um, so he knows, and then um, the new combo, the new three card combo to bring out Stardust Assault mode and Dragoon. In one shot. So on their turn, you'll have Assault Mode and Stardust Dragon. And then a few basic combos and a few, uh, like, maybe one or two OTKs. But I'm rambling, so let me just get straight to it. So I run two Stardust Assault Modes. Um, even if you brick with them in hand, like, you don't want to see them in hand at all. You can go the um, Dragoon route and then just use them for fuel for Dragoon and discard them to the graveyard and do Pot of Avarice because you send monsters to your graveyard a lot real fast and you decked in a lot. So you could play two Pot of Avarice if you want or the one. I run one. And then just use, use Dragoon's effect, send them both to the graveyard and then recycle them into your deck so that you can utilize them. But Dragoon's one route to get him to the graveyard and just put him back in your deck. So you can activate a Somo Activate. Then the one card starter, Psy Reflector. This card allows you when summon or special summon to search out any card that lists a Somo Activate in its text. Then if you have one of those cards in the graveyard um, while you have a Somo in hand, you show your opponent a Somo Activate. And you special summon any card that lists a Somo Activate in its text in the graveyard to the field except himself. Then the one um, Assault Beast. Because you only really need one. Like point blank, you only need one. Just in case you, you open up a hard Psy Reflector. You use him to search out Assault Beast. Activate Assault Beast effect. Discard it to the graveyard to bring a Somo Activate to your hand. Then use the second effect. Reveal it. Bring him back. Go into... You can increase his level from 1 to 4. So you want to increase it by 3 to make him a 7. And since he's a tuner, straight going to Stardust Dragon or any other synchros you want. Also, with the same card combo, you can do that. And then you'll have a Somo Activate. Set a Somo Activate. And on their turn, go into Stardust Assault Mode. But the same card combo, you can keep a Somo in your hand. You have two monsters going to Verte. And then go into Dragoon. And then you have a card in hand for Dragoon's effect. So the same one card combo that gives you a soul mode gives you Dragoon. Then you have Assault Sentinel. Which lets you tribute him to special summon um, any card that lists um, a soul mode activating his text. So if you don't open up him, you can open up him. And we got alternate ways to bring him out real easy. But if you use his effect to special summon him, he locks you into Synchro. So you have to go this route. If you use Psy Reflector, you could do way more things. Like you can link summon. You could do a whole much. You could you could just do crazy things. We run the two summoners monk. You have a dead spell in hand. You're not using it at all or anything. You could use his effect. Ditch a spell. Summon a soap beast from a soap sentinel from deck and go the same route. Or you have two monsters. Dragoon. Or you could do anything. You could link or do whatever you want. Um. The spice that everybody loved at regionals, that got us a whole bunch of wins. They never saw coming. The only hand trap we run, um, Iron Dragon Tiamation. If you have three cards lined up in the same column, you can special summon him. Then wherever you special summon him, let's say it's this row, he pops everything else in it. So if they have a link card, a monster, and a trap, um, you can special summon him here. And he pops everything else if they can't stop that. And the whole column can be used. And then he's just a free special summon, so that way you want to bait stuff out. So that way, just in case your normal summon um, gets negated, you have alternate routes to do backups. 
So even there's times I open up Psy Reflector or Salt Sentinel and they'll um negate it. And then I'll guarantee lined up cards, special summon him. And since their effects are negated, he's a free special summon on board. Use them, go into Dragoon with through Verte. Same with Cyber Dragon going second. Cyber Dragon is used to go second and clear boards. So you can special summon him. And then use his um, fusion that if they're playing all machines, you could just get rid of all of their cards. And it's a plus free cards, getting rid of all the problematic cards they got. Like if you're running against a player that has Cyber Dragons, special summon Cyber Dragon, they're all going to have machine cards. It's a free special summon. Then use his fusion to contact summon from anywhere on the field. So it's like send all their machines, plus your Cyber Dragon to the graveyard and bring out a B stick. And it's free. You got rid of all the problem cards. Um, then the run. I had two. But I run one BLS. You can bring it out easily. Like I said. You do that. And I'll show you the combo. Where you use him. And his fusion. To go into Cyber Reflector. And then go the combo from there. And then since you have Cyber Dragon Engrave. And Cyber Reflector. A light and dark. A free special summon from um, Blacklisted Soldier. And it's part of an OTK too. I'll show that. And then the last two monsters are just Dark Magician and Red Eyes Black Dragon for the Dragoon combo. So you send the spell card through Verte to the graveyard, send Dark Magician and Red Eyes to the graveyard, and you're deck thinning, as well as getting a free Dragoon on field. So one card would deck thin for like five cards. Spell wise, the one emergency teleport that lets you go into Psy Reflector. Same with one for one. You want to summon out the Psy Reflector. You got Fire Formation Tanky. These let you get um, Assault Sentinel since he's a beast warrior. And then basically he will search him. He'll go into him. He'll do his combo loop and go into him, which goes into him. So it's like other ways. And even if you don't um, if you don't want to go this route, you summon Summoner's Monk and you have an extra one. And you could just summon Summoner's Monk Ditch to get a free Assault Sentinel. Instead of searching him out, he'll just go straight to the field. Like you could do a lot more things with it. Um, the one synchro chase. I show the the. I'll show the combo again just in case. It's a three card combo. Um, to summon dragoon in one turn and start his dragon and announce on their mode. Um, assault mode him. I miss his being at three because you don't want to get hand trapped. You don't want to get ashed with these normals. So, so you can go into your plays, but running dragoon, you have alternate backups. But there's only at one so. Um, fusion wise, the one um, red eyes fusion, so you could bring out Dragoon with Verte with a bunch of different combinations of doing it. We got super polys to break their boards. I run it at two. Um, the one lightning storm, you want to get rid of their back row if you went second. Um, or their monsters, you want to bait stuff out, so they're going to negate. Same with Harpy Feather, so just get rid of their back row or any problematic, problematic cards. Um, Monster Reborn. Uh, you can use this to just bring back the Synchro because it's a one card Assault Mode. So you can just bring back um, Starter's Dragon and set another Assault Mode. And it's a free one card start secondary Starter's Assault Mode. Same with the reasons why we run Return of the Dragon's Lord. You can special summon any dragon that's level 7 or 8. Once you did the combo, start the regular Starter's Dragon's in Graveyard. You can just bring it back with Return of the Dragon's Lord, and you have the protection for it just in case they want to um, not use their effect so you can't negate it. And they want to go over him and attack. You could just remove it from Graveyard to protect him. Or if they say they want to play Regeki or any monster effects that would destroy your dragons, you don't have to use your effect. Just remove it from Graveyard for protection. Like, I love this card. And in case they use spell cards, because you have you want to bait out what they're using, going second. Or even if you get Ash, like you can play um triple tactical talents to draw two or take their monster or send what's the other one? I never use it, so I forget. Um choose one card from their hand and shuffle it back into their deck. I never use that. I just either take their monster or draw two, depending on my board setup. Uh, it's only at two. Um, the one Avarice, you re you go through your deck a lot and you have monsters in graveyard. This will just bring them back, draw two, and two assault modes since we only run two, but I only really use one of these. Um, and then have the other one in hand so that way he keeps recycling his effect 
and you go into other synchros and basically the game never lasts long when imperial order the whole thing is about negating stuff so negate spells fully and you don't have to worry about that that way they're worried about their traps or monster effects and the one red reboot just in case they want to activate any trap cards from hand or if they activate it on the field you can play this and um you'll lose some light points if you're playing it from hand but it will negate their trap and then you can just they'll get a free set from their deck and you can go into other synchros that just pops the whole field um trying to speed it up don't want a long video extra deck of course the one dragoon easily we can make him easy you want to go through him through verte any two effect monsters that's what makes this busted um just in case i love they hate it when i just take their monster like if they're not careful where they put it i'll summon side reflector and summon it for the monsters that can't be um destroyed by battle or card effects but they can be targeted i'll summon um and if they're here or here i'll summon side reflector go into it um but before i go into dragoon i'll go into enema to take their monster and then he's equipped getting rid of the problem since it can't be destroyed by battle or card effect i'll absorb it and then use him with the assault beast to go into dragoon after i take out the problem and they never see it coming. Um, the one BLS you can make real easy. You you can swarm the field very easily. As long as you don't use a Soul Sentinel's effect to lock into synchros, you can do way more things. Depending on your hand. The one starter is Dragon. This is his deck, so you, you need one, <laughs> at least. Since you're one of the Cyber Dragons, like I said, you can remove the other cards from play that are problems depending on what deck they're playing and where they're putting the monsters. Get Cyber Dragon, bring him out, and then I'll show you the combo with him and BLS. Um, using Cyber Reflector to go into Star Eater for OTK, depending on, on their setup. The one Bazil Dragon Lords. Um, sometimes I'll activate a card, they'll negate it with their Dragoon. And since it's a one time negate, I'll summon, I'll use Cyber Reflector to go into Bazil. Crash into it, it becomes 4,000. Can't be destroyed by battle um, or card effect. So they can't use Dragoon to send him to Graver and pop him. They can't. Then since he's the same attack, if they can't do nothing, I'll go and just crash into it a second time. But since it'll be even attack, it'll go by itself. The one Black Rose, just in case you want to blow up the field. And... You don't have Assault Sentinel to do the next card. But with Assault Sentinel, um, going into Synchros, instead of popping and your monster is going to Graveyard 2, you could use Assault Sentinel's second effect to target Psy, Psy Reflector and make him um, this type. You select the Synchro, let's say you select this, and then um, Psy Reflector becomes that type and um, attribute. So Psy Reflector will become a Machine Wind which is the requirement for this. This is high speed Roy Kite Drake. And then since you have the requirements, you could go into this, summon it, and it's pretty much a black rose. It'll destroy the whole field, but he stays there at 3000. The one Draker Berserker of Tenu, he won't gain nothing, but he'll banish their monster effects when um, they're activated. And it doesn't target, so. And then if he destroys a monster by battle, he gains their attack. And it can make a second attack on a monster. If they have, like, two, you could destroy one. It will gain its attack permanently. And then you attack the other one. Um, this has become in handy. Um, Chaos Ruler, Chaotic Magical Dragon. He will let you excavate the top five cards. If you see a light or dark that you want or need, you put it in your hand. Everything else goes to the graveyard. So if it's Cyber Dragon, everything is going to Graver. You have um, BLS in hand. You can just special summon in just Beast from there. Super Poly targets um, Starving Venom. I broke a board earlier with this, and I sent the picture to them, so it was funny. And then I run this card because there are some decks that don't run Dark types, but they run Fusions. So I you run Dark, so you could just set a Dark and then 
use Super Poly to get rid of their fusion with your Dark and just get him so you could get their fusion problem out the way. And just in case they're running the same types and everything, like Super Poly targets, you got the Mud Dragon. Um, so let me show you the combo real fast. The first OTK and then the Dragoon. So it's basically these two. Side reflector, you're gonna that's gonna be graveyard. Um thing. Put it inside because you need it. So it's basically these three cards. It's going second, and it's these three card combo. Where let's say they have a big strong monster here, and it's the only problem with my card. Like I summon somebody, summon a the gear free monster that's forty four, and like it's if he wasted all his cards. Like he had no cards in hand, no no set, but a forty four that couldn't be destroyed by battle. I think it is or card effects, and it was forty four. So it's like if they just summon one monster that's in attack mode and it's here. Um, and it can't be like it's a problem with this is super easy so basically you'll special summon cyber dragon and contact fuse cyber dragon with their monster that's here in the extra monster zone to the graveyard to bring out um chimera tech mega fleet but it won't have enough attack power to do the, the otk so at this point, you summon Cyber Reflector, do the combo. He searches out Assault Beast, send Assault Beast to Graveyard. He summons out, um, he searches Assault um, Activate, Reveal, Special Summon back, make level 7. He's the one that you want to bring back because of the 19 attack power. Then at this point, you want to synchro this with um, Chimera Tech because he's a 10 plus 1 makes 11. So you synchro these two. For Star Eater, who's 32. And now your graveyard. Basically, you have a free dark in graveyard. And a free light in graveyard. You remove both of them from play. For Black Luster Soldier. And that's 3. 32, 19. For exactly 8,100 attack. So that's part of OTK going second. If they summon one monster that's beefy or whatever it is. You just get out the way. With no interruptions. Like That's the OTK. Now you saw the regular combo. Tire Reflector summons himself. Um, you search out a card that lists the summon activate. Send to grave. Bring to hand. Reveal. Special summon. Make increase by three. So he's a seven. Synchro. For Stardust Dragon or any other level eights. Um, with Cyber Reflector's effect, since you're increasing by one to four, you basically increasing their um these monsters to five or not between five and nine. So you can synchro in, and you want to put anything in your deck that you want to use to to utilize that. Like any synchros you want. But this route is like then you have a Somo activate hand, you just set, pass turn, activate, tribute. Bring out start this assault mode. Now the same combo, the same basic stuff, will get you dragoon. It's basically the same thing. Like start this assault mode is gonna negate something by tributing himself to the graveyard. It's gonna be the same interruption. Whereas summon, search out, effect, bring to hand, reveal, bring back. Um, doesn't matter what level you bring him to. Um, now you have two mon two effect monsters. Send them to the grave. Uh, Verte. Verte's effect. You're going to send the, sp the spell card. Which in turn obviously sends those two. The Dark Magician and the Red Eyes. And brings out Dragoon to field. Then even with the one card combo, you leave in hand because you normally would have used this for Stardust Assault mode, but now you're going to use it as fuel in your hand for Dragoon's effect to negate something and power himself up. So it's like basically having an alternate Stardust Assault mode on field that can be has his own protection, 
you have a card in hand to ditch, and um, he'll get powered up, and then on your turn, if they set a monster or whatever they did, you just send him to graveyard. Like it's, it's basically the same thing, but he's just more deadly. And real fast to end the video, I'll show you the three card combo to have both of them on your opponent's turn. So what you'll need basically is a Psyreflector, Reflector, any of the things that would special summon Stardust Dragon, so whether it's Return or the Monster Reborn, and you will need Synchro Chase. So real fast, I'll put it here, like this will be the first row. You summon Side Reflector, Side Reflector's effect. Assault Beast, Assault Beast effect. Bam. Uses effect, reveal. Bam. Increases level by 3 to 7 because you're going to go into your Stardust play. But at this point, you wait. Um, This is your. You're going to have two other cards. So it's like. This is your hand. And then you want to play Synchro Chase first. So with playing Synchro Chase, when you special summon a Sardis Dragon, you get to bring back one of the materials. So you're going to go into Verte now. No, you're going to go into Sardis Dragon. Forgive me. And then since Sardis Dragon special summon, you get to bring back one of the materials. So I stay bringing him back. So it doesn't matter which one it is. Then at this point... I go into Verte, but before I use Verte's effect, because um, after the, the spell card, Red Eyes Fusion is sent to the graveyard and Dragoon hits the field, you can no longer special summon after that turn, but he bypasses you special summoning already and summoning point blank, because um, it's just his effect that's sending the spell card to, to bring him out, so be careful how you do it, and you can be in a beer rule, so you've already passed the turn, but... Remember to special summon first. This is hand. That's when you use the other revival. Return of the Dragon Sword. Bring back Sardis Dragon. Now you have protection and grave and everything. Then you'll set the assault will activate. You still have two random cards in hand, whatever you drew. Then you use Verte's effect. Sending Red Eyes Fusion to the grave. As well as obviously the materials. And you're bringing out Dragoon. Doesn't matter where you put them, I just stay putting them here as if the link thing is locking you in. Then you have two cards in hand for Dragoon's effect. You pass turn. They draw. Activate Stardust Assault Mode. Summon Stardust Assault Mode. Now you have basically a Mirror Monster, but just he's the 2000 version. And he's the older version where they activate a card and you feel safe and secure. You could just activate him to negate it. Or activate his effect by discarding one of the cards in hand. He'll get powered up by 4,000 to 4,000. And then if they set, activate something else, if, if they're trying to go over, you can send to Graveyard to negate. Then um, they basically just two cards down. They have three cards left. If not on average, they don't do nothing. They'll set a monster or pass turn. He'll come back. And then basically you have another turn for his effect and his effect because... Both of their effects to negate are once per turn, but he brings himself back, but he has to tribute himself. So I like going this route if I draw this combo or going into Dragoon first. So that next turn I can go into a soul mode. That way, even if I use his effects, he's staying on the field and I won't get punched in the face and I have an interruption on field that gets powered up. So that's basically my start as a solo mode. Um, if you want to change things up your way, feel free. Um, no deck is perfect, but this is my build. This was my idea. And this is my Chaos Assault Mode Dragoon deck or whatever. But it's everything revolves around his support and everything. And then, I mean, why not? It's like a free one card combo that brings him out. The same card brings him out. And... It's just beast. And you're going to have people cursing you out regardless of what deck you play. Whether it's Mr. Mind, Exodia, whatever. Dragoon. People, I hate that card. They hate every card. But um, that's about it. What do you think? Well, I really don't care what anybody thinks. It's my deck. Uh, my build. I love it. And it's one of a kind. I don't see no other deck just like mine. This is the route I go. I like playing my old decks. 
and making my old decks relevant. And I only play five decks, um, which is Stardust Assault Mode, Exodia, um, Constellas, Sacred Beast, and Blue Eyes White Dragon. But I play them my way. I don't follow what everybody else is doing. Um, Rumba to Keep It Kiss, which is the abbreviation for Keep It Simple Stupid and Simple Works. Laters.